Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria 3 here on the channel. I'm of course Stuart. This is going to be the second kind of historical strategy game. Yes, both are from Paradox. Uh, along with Crusader Kings 3 that we are going to be having on the channel. That, that list is going to slowly expand. Now, what I want to do is start over here in Southeast Asia. Right? And we're going to be playing as Siam now. Siam is a little bit similar to Japan. In the sense that I believe its economy is isolated. It does have, sh and I apologize in advance for any and all mispronunciations. Uh, is it Shing Mai, Luang Prabang, and Champasik? I probably mispronounced all of those um, as vassals, although Luang is just a tributary. We are Theravada, we our capital is, of course, Bangkok, and we are Thai. And the goal really is to kind of like rival China, um, Japan eventually, maybe even the East India Company a little bit, um, and see if we can kind of save um, you know, Southeast Asia a little bit. The other idea I had was to try to be Oman, right? Because Oman does have a little bit of a colony here in Africa. Right, it is a little bit, it's got a, a tidy bit here as well. Um, you know, so you could do like a little bit of a rise of the Omani Empire kind of thing. But, um, Actually, which has its, you know, interest, but I do think we'll start with Siam um, and so Siam has established itself as a dominant region of power in Southeast Asia under the Radhanakosin dynasty, but will Siam manage to reform its economy and society for the modern age? See, we started with 1.33 GDP, 45 Siamese battalions, 3.92 billion, 127 arable land, just 7.6% literacy. We are an absolute monarchy, and we have a 7.1 standard of living, and we are ranked 47th in the world. King Nanklao Chakri, who is charismatic and political operator, and he's a member of the land orders, and he is 48 years old. So, we start obviously here in 1836, and our capital is Bangkok. Don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Uh, you can see its region has a GDP of 560,000, 1.9 billion, so almost half the people live in Bangkok. 12 out of 44 infrastructure, 190 out of 169 taxation capacity, which gives us a negative 11%. We do have discoverable resources. Uh, its modifier is plus 50% agriculture plantation because it's got the Chow Priora Delta. Building wise, it's got fishing wharves, rice plantation, tea plantation, and tobacco. We will build a new government. Um, administration building. Although we don't have enough qualifications currently, so maybe we won't. Um, Nakan has 1.8 million, so really, you have 197,000 there, and then we have um, tributaries. And our other vassals up here they have two almost a million people 340,000 and 142,000 so Shing Ma uh, what can we do overload wise we can I 
I don't want to do that. Can I... Take state. Okay, so there is less than 25. It's currently 50. So... What we want to do is... Improve relations. We'll use 75 influence. And then up here, we will also improve relations there, and we will improve relations with all of our vassals, essentially. Um, the first Siamese army has low organization, 97.3% in Siamese Malaya are living below the poverty the life expectancy. Um, got 164,000 people living in Tenasserim. And we have 264,000 people living in um, Siamese Malay, but they are starving. They do have a banana plantation, but that is it. So a rice farm would be good, probably. Is there a negative 27 on, on rice, although fruit, they are plus 26. So not quite entirely sure why they're starving, but they are. We are making 10.1 thousand a week. Uh, so that's going to lead to us stockpiling gold very quickly. Uh, let's take a look at our government. So again, we have Nanklo Shakri, who is the king, and his son is Pinklo Shakri. Uh, we are a righteous government with the landowners. I'm going to try to bolster the armed forces. And we'll try to bolster the monks as well. Um, and then say maybe... Now we don't have enough industrialists right now to really bother with that, so we'll, we'll try to support both of those. The monks and the soldiers. Speaking of the soldiers, we will recruit a general, since currently we have low organization in our army. Um, they're both of the landowners who we don't really want. Um, although this guy is probably better. General Rengsit Chakri. He's tactful, woodland combat expert. He is part of the landowners and he's a pacifist. Um, Yo Chakri is a brigadier general. He's charismatic and a defensive strategist. Tuam Prawa Siri. Again, I apologize. Um, he's a defensive strategist, but he is cruel. Um, we'll go with Yod. But he's 5th, 30, 30. No, that's not his age. Sorry, it's a command. So he's 37. He's 33. Alright. And then we need a second general. And this one we will make two um. So we have two generals, one of the landowners, one of the armed forces. Uh, in terms of our research. Um, mandatory service. Will be what we go for. Volunteers and mercenaries might not meet all the bad part of bands of a modern military force. Sometimes the nation simply must demand service from all its citizens. We're going to go for that because, again, if we are going to try to, as we're going to get time running here, um, stave off colonization and the expansion of the East India Company, 
As the Kata Jid paddles Steber at the Kurzi State are all spreading the Great Shig is boosting the legitimacy of Tibet. Um, then we're going to need to try to, you know, improve our military, obviously, as well as our literacy rate. But um, we are building the rice farm out here. Uh, initially, obviously, uh, or maybe not obviously, but you do start up building wooden buildings. So we have 18 weeks remaining. Now that time is running at three times speed, let's see what. So we've got a lot of grain overall. And, but we do need wood, furniture, and all types of clothing. So here we will build a logging camp. And what is our population? 37,000. We'll build two logging camps. And then in Bangkok. We will actually, as France is out guaranteed our independence. Thank you, France. So we're actually going to build a... Um, Furniture manufacturer in Bangkok. Siak is starting to improve our mutual relations. And let's go in and let's see what are our laws. Mm, isolationism. Right? Nobody wants protectionism. Nobody wants mercantilism. And nobody wants free trade. 63.9% would dislike it anyway. So, the, like, none of the major players want any of that. So then when it comes down here to trade, obviously, we're not trading anything. So that that's going to be one of our goals as well, is to try to... Um, open up the country a little bit we have nine weeks remaining on the eight weeks now um, on the rice farms in Siamese and Malaysia uh, and negative 42 clothing negative 42 wood which again is, a lot of that is because we're using it for building Negative 8 now in the grade, so good thing I got the good call of the rice market. Negative 15 on the opium. Negative 31 on the luxury clothing. Right. And tennis room, they have 0 out of 7. Okay, so we can incorporate for 13.2 for bureaucracy there. I'll take two years. Um. In the in tenor serum, they will build a um, a cotton plantation, which is going to help us a lot with the cloth. Although right now we're currently at plus eleven. I'm trying to see. Or. We can pass for their emergency relief. Um, plus 50% welfare payments in Siamese Cambodia. And again, that is where we're going to be trying to build the other logging camp. British East India Company is helping technology spread at Awood.
So you can see we do have the rice farms down here. Which, I don't know why it's only producing five, but enact hope, steady political movement. And see local prices is already to go down a little bit. Negative 9.2 per second construction efficiency in Dakan. 60 weeks until it's complete. And see what we'll do. Turn around. We'll make a tooling mill. Against the odds, despite that, enjoyed full rights under Siamese laws, some wealthier EE people have begun moving into neighborhoods and frequently into establishments that they would normally be excluded from. If we want our children to have a future, this is where we should raise them, he said, and want them to live somewhere safe. She crossed her arms. Have you seen the looks we get when people talk about safe? They don't mean safe for us, they mean safe from us. Uh, the monks will lose two interest group approval. Negative fifty percent interest group attraction, two percent because of the people become more loyalist. Um, but we'll do that, right? We're gonna say we're gonna try to be a little bit more inclusive. Um, we have sixty-two thousand radicals, only two thousand loyalists right now. Standard of living is down to five point six, which is obviously terrible. Although, you know, if you look at it. I mean, Siamese Cambodia is lower as is Malay, which I really don't totally understand because, I mean, as this improves, the price, five point, why is it going down so much? What else is so freaking expensive? I mean, it really should be improving. What are our taxes like? Okay, so they're not... Yeah, yeah, really relatively low taxes. We don't have any consumption-based taxation. Um, and... The Netherlands is now also guaranteeing our independence. We just built a grain farm, but now we're again. So wait, how are we minus grain? So we sell orders, right? 518. We need 507. That should be plus. Eleven. But yet. We're negative. Forty two. I, I don't understand that. We have no trade routes. Um, how does that work? Where is that other 40, 30, what is it? 54. Is that like slaves? I mean, I, I don't. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, I know we have a tool shortage. We are up to 5.6 living percentage, so it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I, I don't... Hmm. That's interesting to me. Like... So their literacy... Not their literacy. Their liberty is... It increases. Well, why is it increasing? It's also increasing. It's all increasing. I'm trying to Im improve relations with all of my vassals, and yet somehow it's all increasing in terms of their desires for freedom and independence. I mean, which I understand, don't get me wrong, but like. I don't know that I understand in the sense of, you know, hey, we're improving our relations, we're now cordial, and yet your desire to break away from me is stronger than ever. Um, 60 weeks for baiting on this logging camp. Say we're going to build another rice farm because even though we don't have the people for it, we need more grain. Um, I do want to pass a work up passing a law though. Uh, who's this pissing off? Landowners. Um, okay. What about. Well, I know it's not part of our laws, but why can't I make it? Total separation law, church and state, state atheism, and serfdom. Oh, okay. Um... We do have right of assembly. David de Almada has been exiled from Portugal. We would need to have law enforcement researched. Who would dislike this? The monks. Okay, the monks would dislike that. Um, we need medical degrees there. You need the stock exchange to change that. So,
the goal uh, as we build our furniture manufacturer here in Bangkok in 56 weeks um, Try to improve relations with Don Nayam. Burma, uh, we could try as well, although I do think they're going to get gobbled up by the East India Company here pretty soon, which is why I, did, I, I decided not to be Burma at the start, because I think, if memory serves correctly, and I don't know that relations have been broken, Chiang Mai, Champasic, right? I, and I don't know that memory does serve me correctly, but. Um, I, th I think the East India Company comes in and takes Burma. A very long time ago, I tried to play a Siam. Um, played a little, you know, played a couple of, um, a few hours. I, I'm not sure exactly. How. So your industrial buildings, if you're unfamiliar with Victoria 3, do take longer to build than your, um, kind of like your rural resource buildings. So we will build a second logging camp in Siamese Cambodia. Now the silk is going to be big. Because that is going to allow us to work on the um, the luxury clothing. So that is actually massive. Um, seriously, are we ever going to... We're not going to hire any more people. Why can we not hire anybody else? What's the problem? Okay, we'll not try again on July the 20th. Okay. So we'll see what happens on July the 20th. You can subsidize uh, the building, and, and then they're obviously will hire more people at that point. Um... Aristocrats of manor houses in Siamese Malia are satisfied with their current employment. The attitude of Luang Prabang is defiant. Um... Can we just um, right subsidize it? Yeah. So we are going to subsidize the rice farms here, I think, although I don't know, but that's actually going to help us hire people, but it might not. Um, We're 36 remaining weeks remaining on the furniture manufacturer. Our standard of living is up to 6.2. So again, I, I, it is greatly increasing. Like it was down to 5.1 not that long ago in the game. And now it's up to 6.2, which is still really bad. Don't get me wrong. 
but compared to where it was, right? Um, yep, we are up to 5.9 thousand people out of a possible 10,000. Which, as the workforce grows, we should, you can see the grain is now increased to um, 24 as opposed to the 23 it was previously at. So you can see we are up to 29 now, 7.3 thousand people. Um, we're the 2,685th rice farm in the world in terms of being its productivity. Um, and we're the 27th ranked in terms of the overall world. But as we produce more and more grain, right, it's gonna help people. Um, in terms of standard of living, et cetera, et cetera. Um, again, we're, we're not, we're gonna have to just subsidize, I think, all of our buildings, essentially. Um, because we're not hiring people um, because the aristocrats don't want to leave their, you know, private plantations and whatnot, which I can understand. But at the same time, okay, so these people actually did leave. Um, that that's hurting our production and hurting the overall economy, and 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 that's part of what we're trying to do is. Um, kind of centralize and develop Thailand, you know, into a modern nation, a little bit, so to speak. I'm not somebody who really buys it to, hey, well, you have to have, you know, all this stuff to be a quote-unquote modern nation. I, I think that gets used way too often. But, um, you know, in terms of uh, more industrialized nation, how about that? Hey, we're up to 6.3 standard of living, which is, you know, fair, you know, given the rest of Southeast Asia is reasonable, you know, fairly, fairly reasonable. Our literacy rate is right upon par. China, obviously, and India with the people. Um, most of our radicals are kind of on the Malaysian Peninsula. Bangkok, obviously, the most profitable province that we currently have. Let's see where we are at Urban Center One, which gives you services and transportation. And we're at what, 110? Yes. Basically, it's just, you know, how urban and, you know, industrialized is your city um, is what that really kind of comes down to. Um, so, like, if we go over here, where's London? You can see London as an urban center of 20. Uh, Paris as an urban, really? Only have 11, that's interesting. The Netherlands, seven. Brussels has seven. Rome, two. Well, that, okay. Um, 
interesting. Naples has six. Uh, Berlin seven. So really, it is it is the armed forces are now powerful. Really, it kind of is um, London, Constantinople. Just six, huh? Interesting. Okay. I, I mean, I would have thought some of those were going to be closer to um, to London, but let's go up here to Beijing. Seven. Hmm. Okay. Slightly surprising. The Balinese on Frank rivalry has been declared. France is conquering a state in North Africa and technology are spreading in Nagpur. Uh, speaking of expansions, like Johor. Part of the Malaysian. Trying to see, are they? Bali is starting to improve our mutual relations. The Netherlands are guaranteeing their independence. Okay. I believe they're also guaranteeing my independence, but... So you can see we're now producing 33 wood because of the subsidization of the logging camp, which, you know. Build a rice farm in Nakan. France has declared Great Britain to be their rival. Oh. Yeah, I might not need that then. We'll build a, another logging camp though. And the reason we're going to do that is then also in Bangkok, we will build a tooling workshop. So we really are kind of trying to go down this whole idea of um, greatly increasing the um, industrialization of Bangkok. So we'll see how we do. Like it says right now, it can't hire again until June the 14th. So obviously as we get tools, um, we'll need less workers, but we'll also more tools. But And you can see where, you know, the the lumber, the wood, whatever you want to call it, you can see it's coming in from our logging camps. And I, and I like how it shows that, right? It's showing you where it's coming in from. We're not really hiring very many people, though. Um, we're currently building a cotton plantation in Tedderstrom. But we are producing a piece of lumber, uh, piece of lumber, sorry. 
a piece of furniture. France has also started to improve our mutual relations. So we are going to use uh, fabric and wood to produce this. Which is where the cotton plantation and the logging camp comes in. Also, the, co the cotton plantation will help with the uh, textile bill of Bangkok. Uh, Faya Chakri is retired. Monument to the King, a statue of the King, Nako Chakri was commissioned and has been suggested to be, uh, be displayed proudly in Bangkok. Charismatic is how you would describe the look on the face of the statue when it smiles down on you, even eyes that flicker in the opposite direction of the sun. 2% of the pops become more radical, but we get plus 3% prestige for 5 years. That's fine. The anti siamese League is formed in Burma. Well, that's not great. I mean, I guess I could understand it. Wow, we have plus 70 fabric. Where did that come from? Subsistence rice patties, okay. Um, interesting. Well, if that's the case, then... Yeah, we'll switch that up, right? But anyways, um, how much more time? We have 10 weeks remaining on the mandatory service. Um, can we... 300 influence to improve relations with France. I was going to see if we could maybe try to... Um, we'll do emergency road maintenance in Siamese Cambodia. Because it looks like they have some devastation. 34.1% um, daily change negative 0.10% or one zero. And it does slow down um, construction efficiency. Rangseet Rabadhana has appeared in Siam. He will start a movie to enact theocracy. Which I think we already have. No, we have autocracy, sorry. Um, who dislikes it? The landowners. Okay. And the monks dislike it? Okay. That's interesting. Um, that the monks would dislike theocracy, but anyways. And what, what, when you don't pass the laws that they want, uh, though their law, the supporters of the law can become more radicalized. So that, that, that is a real thing. Um, 22 weeks remaining on the, on, on the lumber camp. Where are we here? And we are producing a decent amount of furniture. Again, we, we, we need the toolie to really kind of take the next level. Um, and, and that'll be part of what we try to do in the next time. I am thinking with British East India companies are forcing this military access to Bawar. I do think we might try to forcibly annex some of our territories if they're not going to lose their uh, desire for autonomy. But that won't happen in this episode. Uh, mandatory services, but unlocked volunteers and mercenaries might not meet the manpower demands of a modern military force. Sometimes the nation simply must demand service from all citizens. All right, so we will go for. Um, let's see. What's academia, kid? We'll do academia because uh, things like medical degrees, mass communication, I think. Um, help us in terms of, yes, see, plus one max health system institution investment. 
unlocks private university, private schools, and education. Whereas right now we don't have any schooling, so that, that'll be a good thing. The British East India Company is enforcing its military access to Jaipur. I am trying to get into 1839, just since it's already December of 1838. It just didn't, didn't really make a ton of sense to um, end the episode right there, but I guess maybe we should have. Um, I am going to try to do a better job than sometimes I do in the past of trying to make sure we're at or a little bit underneath an hour. I know that's still a little bit long in terms of most YouTube videos, but that that's kind of the goal. But we're in January of 1839 now. Uh, and that is where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. So again, hopefully, you know, it does all right. Oh, I, this is very much a learn as I play. Um, I had played for a while in Victoria 3. I know I don't typically play the right way, especially when it comes to I don't like stacking up the debt. Which is kind of ironic when it comes to real life. Um, but be that as it may, I really do enjoy the game. I'm having a lot of fun. And I hope everybody is doing well, and I will try to get better and better in the future. Take care, everyone, and I will hopefully be around to talk to you all later.